The state of Texas is dealing with those devastating wildfires we've been telling you about, fueled by a severe drought. Now, some folks are trying to do something about it by wringing a little more rain from the few clouds that are in the sky. Nearly 85% of Texas is in exceptional drought conditions right now, 99% considered severe or worse. This is being called the worst drought year on record there. Some parts of Texas have seen 68 days with temperatures above 100 degrees. Check out the map, yellow showing states that are abnormally dry in this country. The dark red means exceptional drought conditions. With us now, Stephanie Beal, the project meteorologist for the Southwest Texas Rain Enhancement Association. Stephanie, rain enhancement, we're basically talking about cloud seeding, right? Yes, that's correct. And how do you know that it works? You're sending up airplanes uh, that drop flares that burn silver iodide, and that, that puts silver iodide particles into clouds, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, we actually here in Texas, we fly at the base of the cloud. Um, we're looking for the inflow region of the thunderstorm. And this is what mechanism we use to actually get the, uh, the silver iodide into the proper part of the cloud where we want it to go to enhance the rainfall. But how do you know that it works? I mean, how do you, how do you measure rainfall from a cloud you've seeded versus <laughs> what might have happened if you hadn't done anything? Um, here in Texas, we actually have an analysis done annually uh, for each of the six projects that's operating currently. Um, what the analysis does, it actually compares the seeded clouds to a non-seeded cloud, say outside the target area, or maybe a cloud that formed uh, right along the target area border that was going to move out anyways. Um, the gentleman, uh, the, uh, the scientist, I'm sorry, that does the analysis um, will compare the seeded versus non-seeded clouds and use the non-seeded as a control, which um, has a similar characteristic, similar type of air mass, and, and such as the, uh, the seeded cloud. And he does uh, a math mathematical analysis on that. And from that, we can tell um, how much additional rainfall we are actually producing. The, uh, the idea, I guess, I mean, those thunderstorm clouds contain obviously a huge amount of water. But what you're trying to do is to get them to drop their water more gradually and not just dump it all in one place as a thunderstorm can tend to do? Um, what we're trying to aim to do when we're seeding clouds, we don't necessarily try to increase the intensity, although we do see that sometimes. Uh, the main goal of what we're doing to do is trying to get to them, get them to rain, uh, I guess, stay alive longer, if you will. And so therefore, as they travel longer distances, they can drop rainfall over a larger amount of land than they would have if they were not seeded. This used to be uh, a state project, but it's my understanding the Texas funding for this kind of thing dried up. So you're actually paid for, you're actually funded by some of these water districts in the state? Yes, that's correct. Um, in 2002, before 2002, um, we had matching state funds. In 2002, there was a budget crisis and they were no longer uh, able to give us matching funds. So most of the projects that are still operating today um, were able to pay off all of the equipment uh, that was needed for the projects, the airplanes and other things. Mm. So now, yes, all the, the six projects that are running currently are only operating from local taxpayers and other uh, water municipalities through the water districts. Well, it is gold when it falls from the sky, especially in a year like this. Stephanie Beal, we wish Thanks. you well.